All right, let's take a look at the markets here this morning. All right, so we've got um, this is S and P this morning. We use a couple charts uh, in the trade room to allow us to look for possible entries in an uptrend or downtrend. So the market has two really phases. It has a accumulation phase and it has a distribution phase. So the accumulation phase, that's when they're trying to mark the market up. So this accumulation. So there's accumulation phase. The accumulation phase is when our dual trend filter, we have a dual trend filter where we have two two zones that have to meet to have the same color to show us there's a hard trend up or hard trend down. If we are green, green, which we are, here we are green, green. This is our outer zone. Outer zone is green. Our inner zone dots, which is our Simrinko dots, they are green also. We're looking to buy the market only. We're only looking to buy retracements and to buy momentum. So this is what's called the accumulation phase. When you are green, green on the trend filter, this allows you not to counter trend trade the market. There's tons and tons of indicators out there and oscillators that try to get you to counter trend trade the overall trend. We don't want to do that. We want to get in the accumulation phase and by doing that, we want to look for the system to uh, the algo to let us know when we are in an uptrend. So if we are green, green, that's accumulation phase. These yellow uh, candles will let us know when there's a pull in for these setups. Now, one of the top tier one setups in the room uh, this morning so far will go. We're looking for a V bottom right now, currently live in the market. I'm looking for this to V bottom turn a yellow candle buy right here this morning since 3.30 we'll look at just the buy setups that have happened. A V bottom occurs when you get a retracement, the counter trend traders push it down, the red candles. And you see this doji or hammer that comes in. If it comes in, a yellow candle comes in within three candles. The start after the hammer, you count one, two here. That is an entry, comes up, counter trend traders come in. This is one candle after that hammer. That's an entry also. And now we'll look for an entry over here. If we stay green, green and turn a yellow candle to the upside, we will look for a buy signal as we speak right now um, for that. Now these are called V bottom trades. This is called a V bottom in the accumulation phase. That's a V bottom. This is a V bottom. And now we're looking for another V bottom as we are doing this video. The market's ticking live right now at 57.73. We're looking for another V bottom right now. If you look at the entries, what are the entries? The entry would be the close of the yellow candle. This is your entry at that level. So we're looking for an entry at the close of that yellow candle. The hard stop is a load that candle initially and then you can adjust. Some traders like to use it a little higher than that, which is fine. But that's your typical entry and stop. The low of this candle and the high of the candle, entry, hard stop, and so on. So that's that's the accumulation phase. That's a V bottom that's that we look at every single day. It's the same setup every day. V bottom, V bottom. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the V bottoms when the market is in an uptrend. All right, so, so that, that's since midnight. That's all the trades since midnight. We had a V bottom over here also starting out the session just after midnight there. So if you're looking strictly at V bottom setups, we've had one, two, three, going into the four setup now. This retracement can come all the way down into this lower zone and then get a pull-in bar, which would be a trigger bar or an entry bar, a yellow candle. 
that would still be a valid setup for the V bottom that's coming up. If we do not V bottom and you get outside the zone and we start turning and we turn opposite color, opposite color trend zones, meaning one is red, one is green, then we're going to look for a failure trade. But that's only if we get into this lower zone and this and we get a red dot that forms against a green. Then we'll look for a failure trade and the market can transition to the other side. But as of right now, in the accumulation phase, it's been accumulation. It's been V bottom, V bottom, V bottom, and then we're looking for another V bottom. This this cycle will continue until we get a trend change. And that's the beauty of using the dual trend filter. It keeps you on the right side of the market. If we turn an opposite color candle, which is red against green, then we're going to look for a transition for the market to go to the other side. So that's accumulation phase. Now, what happens is, is from the acute, so this is when the market's getting accumulated on these V bottoms, accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. The next phase is what's called the markup phase. So you have the accumulation phase, and these would be the V bottoms or V tops if you're in a downtrend. So this is V bottoms. Then we go into what's called a markup phase. A markup phase is where all the wrongly positioned traders, the counter trend traders, have got stopped out from their buy stops or sell stops, and they want to try to get in the market because they missed the run. The markup phase, or if it's in a downtrend, it would be called the markdown phase. This is where traders have missed the initial V bottom. And mainly these are counter trend traders that have missed and they've been stopped out here. So these are the counter trend traders that try to short this and then their buy stops get taken out because they're wrongly positioned, that they're trading the wrong side of the market. So they're trying to trade these shorts, which they're on the wrong side of the trend filter, and then they get stopped out. So what they'll do is they'll try to jump on, they'll try to jump on and try to mark the market up, which is called the markup phase. These are called MOMO trades or momentum trades. The first one is MOMO1. That happens after the first V bottom, and it resets, and then you have a MOMO2. Momo 1s, Momo 1, and then Momo 2. Your best markup trade will be a Momo 1 after a V bottom because you, you have now you have momentum that's coming in the market. You have momentum that's coming in the market after a V bottom. Then you got Momo 2s. I educate traders to look at Momo ones after V bottoms. It's my best little combination there. So here's a Momo one, and it resets after another V bottom. It goes back to Momo one. So you reset after you do a V bottom again, and then you go back to Momo one. Now you're back to Momo one, and then you got Momo two. So that's called the markup phase. Now when the market can go parabolic or what's called climax buying is called the parabolic phase. That's when the market really takes off. Potential to really get going to the upside. That's Momo 2. So you see here's Momo 1 over here. Momo 2. I like the Momo 1 after the initial V bottom because it's showing that the V bottom is getting some momentum. It's where the rolling position traders are now getting back into the market. This would be Momo 2. Now, what happens is the market likes to go parabolic sometimes. It, you'll see a lot of these traders that are short 
are all trying to get into the market. This is when the market likes to run. And this is called the parabolic phase. Now, the parabolic phase happens on MOMO 3s. So you'll see it here. This starts a parabolic move. After you see a MOMO 3, look for a nice V bottom. This is where the market likes to go parabolic, called a MOMO 3. Parabolic here. Now the market likes to go parabolic. Look for a parabolic move. This is weekly on all markets or climax buying. This phase is when the market is really, really running. This is when the market is running, and we call this a parabolic move. So this is another phase that happens in the market. So you could, you could some, some markets will come in, and you only do accumulation phase V bottoms, and MOMOs, and maybe MOMO1. MOMO1 and MOMO2. Parabolic moves happen after MOMO3 after V bottom, MOMO3 and on. That's when you look for a parabolic move. All right, so those are your phases on a daily basis. Now, on the sell side, it'd just be opposite, right? But this is MOMO3. This is where you're going to MOMO3 and on. The market closed at 64 and 3 quarters. It ran to 79. So almost 15 S&P points. It went parabolic <clears throat> this morning. It's a parabolic move. Because it got to the MOMO3 status. That's parabolic. Okay. So that's the phases that you go through. You go through the accumulation phase. These are just V bottoms with overall trend filter, green, green, or red, red. Then you go in the markup phase. This is a MOMO 1 and a MOMO 2. I like the MOMO 1s. Then if you get to a MOMO 3, the market likes to go parabolic or climax buying. Now let's take it one step further. In between the V bottom, and the MOMO 1, or V bottom MOMO 1, let's look at 431 to 447. In between here, you have what's called a liquidity grab. So you can find where the market likes to do this. Let's go right here in between this 431 to 441, that 10 minute window. In that 10 minute window, you want to look for the first liquidity grab after a V bottom in this window right here. Now, what is a liquidity grab? A liquidity grab happens when you get, it's on our bottom right chart, a liquidity grab happens. Here's your V bottom. There's your V bottom. Let me find out what exactly where is the MOMO was at 1441. There's your V bottom. 1441. Here is your MOMO 1. There's your MOMO 1. So what happens between a V bottom and a MOMO 1 is called a liquidity grab. So here's our V bottom on our normal chart with our yellow trigger entry. Here's our MOMO 1 with our yellow trigger entry on the chart I just showed you. So we have a liquidity grab chart we show in the room on the bottom right. 
what you can do is you can find out when they're grabbing liquidity to mark, to mark the market up before even the MOMO one hits. Now, what you're seeing right now, this is my liquidity grab trader that I'm testing for you traders. Are you members? I'll be putting it on the members download page once I'm finished. What it's going to do, it's going to look for a trade setup only in between the V bottom and the MOMO one. All right, this is the software we're testing right now. What it's going to do, it's going to look for this V bottom, MoMA, I mean the liquidity grab. What a liquidity grab is, is you notice this spike down in price. And a spike here, spike, 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 spike. What they try to do, the smart money, the smart money on all these shorter and longer Rinko sizes, or, or even minute charts, what have you, they will bring the market the opposite direction of the overall push. So in between the V bottom and the MOMO one, we get what's called a liquidity grab or called it LG. That's where the smart money is counter trend trading the market. It gets all the counters to short the market only to, so the smart money will stop them out. It's called order flow. So if you look at all these liquidity grabs, these spikes, that's where all counter trend traders got stopped out. All these oscillators telling you to short, whether it be a pivot level, a Fibonacci level, you know, all these different levels or stochastics or what have you, divergence, all these counter trend traders, this is where all smart money is getting long, all these spikes. Well, we, we are aware of that. And so what we want to do, you want to look for the pullback. Now the pullback, Jacob, it doesn't have to be a deep liquidity grab. It can be a shallow liquidity grab. As long as it's in between the V bottom and MOMO one, Jacob, and it's with the trend. Now the stop can be shorter or smaller on liquidity grabs. Why? Because you got to wait until this closes green. So my stop on a V bottom and, and entry would be here, right? So our entry on a V bottom, because it's now just turned the corner, would be here at the close of the candle. <clears throat> and your stop would be the low, initially starting out. Well, it's different on liquidity grab because the low of the liquidity grab, I go minus two ticks below it. Now your stop is here. So that allows you a smaller stop on liquidity grab trades. Now I can grab liquidity before MOMO1 and cranks it in. So those are three setups to repeat day after day, market after market. We look for a V bottom. So we look for V bottoms, MOMO1, V bottom, MOMO1, V bottom, MOMO1. In between a V bottom, like right now we're looking for a V bottom as we are green green here. We're still looking for a V bottom. Hasn't happened yet. But after the V bottom, what you can do is you can try to find the first liquidity grab after V bottom in between the V bottom and MOMO one. And this happens on our chart, our bottom right chart over here. So let's take a look at it. So this is the, this is called the liquidity grab trader we'll have on the members download page for you. We're looking for a liquidity grab in between the V bottom and MOMO one. Now, if you're looking in the room where it would be, Let's look at it at 1440.04. So I got this chart over here on the bottom right to find these liquidity grabs. So here was your V bottom. There's your V bottom. And if it holds structure on this bottom right chart, it's called a sweet spot V bottom. This is the best V bottom you can get because it's holding my structure dots. Sweet spot V bottom. So I have two charts you want to look at that match up. Look how my structure dots hold for the shallow retracement on that V bottom trade. That lets me know that this market is try to, trying to go, uh, they're trying to mark the market up in this accumulation phase 
pretty hard because it's holding. It's not. It's as long as I don't close two candles below my inner dots, that's a sweet spot V bottom. Now, what you want to do? Our Momo one came at fourteen forty one right here. That's where our Momo one came up. This is Momo one on our other chart. That's where the yellow trigger came up. So if you notice in between Momo one and the sweet spot V bottom on the bottom right chart also, what happened? They grabbed liquidity right here. Look at the spike down and they closed it. This is called a liquidity grab, an LG. So this is where we want to participate. Not when the market's already gone parabolic because you want to be long already before the market goes parabolic on Momo 3s or 4s. You know, this is Momo 3, Momo 4, Momo 5. This is where you want to get involved in the cycle. On every single market that you trade, this works on all markets the same way. This is your markup phase, your accumulation markup phase, and your liquidity grab. You're looking for V bottom, liquidity grab. There's another possible entry. Here's a possible entry, V bottom sweet spot trade. Another trade entry, liquidity grab. Another trade entry, Momo one. Now, if I look at live trading right now in the market, we did we did not hold our inner dot, so it's not a sweet spot trade because it closed two candles below the inner dots, which are red red now. One, two. So now, what type of trade are we looking at? It's not a sweet spot V bottom because it's got to hold those these inner green dots and not close two candles below it. So now we're looking for what? We're looking for a normal V bottom as we as the price ticks right now. Normal V bottom. Why? Because we're now inside of our inner dots. Because if you hold the inner dots, that's called a shallow retracement. They're really trying to mark the market up. They're trying to mark the market up. So what you want to see on the normal V bottom, you want to see it close just like it did back here on the sweet spot trade. It has to close a green candle close. If it keeps turning red, 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 and we get to the lower zone and we get an offset color trend dot, red, green, or green, red, and they're not green, green, then we're going to look for a failure trade. Look for a trend change. It happened on crude oil a second ago. Here's crude oil. You see how we went from green, green, and we turned red, green. This is a tradable setup, and that's called a failure setup at the low here at 71.39, and got as low as 71.24 so far. Almost 15 ticks on crude oil. Now crude oil, we're looking for a V top. Looking for a V top, then Momo uh, V top liquidity grab Momo one. So our process here, we're going to, we're going to look for on the S and P is very simple. We're going to look for a normal V bottom. We're going to look for the first liquidity grab. Then we're going to look for a Momo one. If we keep ticking red, 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 and then my dots change from green to red, I'm going to look for a failure trade and try to get short for this move. All right, but this is the rhythm of the market on a daily basis. V bottom. Liquidity grab, Momo 1. V bottom, liquidity grab, Momo 1. Now the opposite will be, you can see they've been trying to mark the market up since last night. Another sweet spot trade. So here would be a V bottom. Process is the same every day. V bottom, liquidity grab, Momo 1. It's the same process. All right now, if you if you're looking to short the market, it's just the opposite. Short the market would be here. Let's look at the close yesterday. So the close, red red, you're looking to short. Here's your V bottom short, V top short, V top, 
There's your first liquidity grab short, LG. That's another entry. And then Momo 1 happened right after that on our other chart at this level. There's your process. Liquidity grab, I mean, VTOP, entry here, or liquidity grab, get a second shot at it. Your third shot at it is your Momo 1. That's your shots at it right there. You get three shots at the market. So right now, we're looking for a normal V bottom still to pull us in the market as we speak right now to start the cycle over. And that will reset it. So we'll look for a normal V bottom once it closes green. That will be the entry. Then we'll look for a LG liquidity grab one. Look for MOMA one and see if this bar can go parabolic like it did before on green green. The key, guys, is you don't want to go against this trend filter. If it's green green, you only want to look to buy. If it's red red, you're only going to look to sell. If it's green red, that's a chop market. You can either stand aside. You don't even have to even trade these failure trades like this when, it's, when, the, when the trim filter doesn't agree. You don't have to trade this failure if you don't want to. This 15 tick move because it's telling you we're in a transition to roll back over to the downside. You can just wait for another V bottom or V top. Liquidity grab one, then Momo. This is the major cycle that you need to understand. Sweet. V bottom, liquidity grab, Momo one. V bottom, liquidity grab, Momo 1 again, until we turn offset color trend filter.